All right, let's take a look at some of the enhancements in SOLIDWORKS Classics 2017. These new features focus on providing more flexibility and control to the users for setting up injection molding analysis in addition to better performance and accuracy while interpreting results. Now the first enhancement is the user interface. In SOLIDWORKS 2017, the Plastics user interface has been modified to mimic the rest of SOLIDWORKS. This includes the new icons that were introduced in 2016 which have been refined in this latest release. The goal of this enhancement is to provide a more unified environment with respect to the UI, just like the rest of the add-on modules in SOLIDWORKS. There is now a setting focused on improving load time performance for SOLIDWORKS paths that have existing plastic studies. This option allows you to defer the loading process of the plastics analysis data until you activate the SOLIDWORKS plastics tab from the feature manager. Once activated, the plastics analysis information is loaded on demand. Traditionally, each analysis setup with plastics is associated with a specific part configuration in SOLIDWORKS. Now, in 2017, the ability to set up studies with derived configurations has been added. This gives you more ways to set up multiple analysis cases with different design criteria. Let's move into some of the new options available while defining a SOLIDWORKS plastic study in 2017. The first thing you'll notice is a new option that lets you leverage your previous design data. You no longer have to set up studies from scratch while testing out multiple design cases because this new option saves information such as cavity, runner, and domain data that have been previously defined. In this case, let's make a modification to the existing runner system. Let's go back a step and activate the runner and cooling system design option. Once this is loaded, let's activate the runner option and remove all the information that was saved from before. Here, I'd like to define a runner system showcasing the new draft angle option in 2017. This gives you a new way of specifying a draft angle to the runner channel when using the start and endpoint diameters for this purpose don't yield desired results. Here we selected the three segments of the runner system that interfaces with a plastic smart cavity to assign a draft angle. This new option can be used in combination with the previous definition method where you can specify start and end value. Now, let's define the rest of the runner segments with the endpoint diameter specs. Finally, we'll end again by assigning a draft angle to the runner segment that interfaces with the sprue. Next, let's take a look at some new mesh refinement settings that have been added to the surface mesh option. Besides defining a nominal triangle size for the mesh, SOLIDWORKS Plastics enables you to locally define the mesh in critical areas of your model. For instance, by selecting the automatic option, SOLIDWORKS will automatically refine the mesh around areas in your model that have a high level of geometric detail. The Assign Size option enables you to select specific areas in your model and define the triangle sizes to be used for those areas. In 2017, you are able to use both these options simultaneously with the Automatic and Assign Size option giving you the greatest flexibility when it comes to meshing your model. Here, let's refine the mesh around this boss at the corner of the cover, as this might be a critical area for the plastics analysis. You will also notice that SOLIDWORKS is turned on selection filters, making it even more convenient to select these faces. Let's now create the mesh with the parameters we've applied. You will notice the nominal 3mm mesh size throughout most of the design with the refined mesh automatically applied to the high detail areas and finally, the smaller element size we specified applied to the boss in the corner. Now let's quickly move through the rest of the steps in the mesh wizard to create the solid mesh from the surface mesh we just generated. Now after the solid mesh has been created, we'll navigate through the rest of the setup process and have SOLIDWORKS have all the plastic setup saved locally. Once the mesh creation is complete, we are ready to define the injection characteristics for the runner system we just created. For starters, let's add a simple injection point to the top of the runner system with an injection diameter of about 10 millimeters. Now with 2017, there are new options for defining the injection process, specifically a new control valve option. These control valves are defined in the places where the runner system interfaces with the part cavity to control injection times at each of these locations. You can choose to manually select these locations 
But SolidWorks Plastics 2017 has a new feature that lets you automatically select them for you. On selecting the Automatically Add Valves button, SolidWorks has found the three locations mentioned previously on our part with very little user interaction. Within each control valve, you have more control to specify when each of these valves opens and closes. From the pull-down, you can choose the volume ratio that activates the valve based on the percentage of cavity filled. You can also choose to manually specify the time at which the valve opens and closes. Lastly, we have an added option that automatically determines the optimal open and close time for the valve. Regardless of which option you select, the open and close times for each valve will be available in the flow report generated once the study has been run. In our case, let's specify that the center valve opens once 30% of the part cavity fills and stays open for the rest of the cycle. At this point, you run the fill and pack analysis based on these settings. Just to save some time, I'm going to load a configuration that has the complete analysis with these settings. Let's now take a look at some of the outputs from our plastics analysis and some new options available for interrogating our results. The first enhancement you'll notice is the minimum and maximum results indicated on and over the results rainbow plot, giving you better insight into these values. As you change the values, there are two things to pay attention to. The arrows indicating these values changes along the scale, while the maximum and minimum values remain visible and unchanged for reference. There's also improved control over the speed of the results animation. You will notice that the control valve in the middle does not open until 30% of the part volume is filled, like we specified during the control valve setup. In 2017, there have been some slight improvements in the display of well lines. Now the red is where the flow fronts meet at small acute angles, and blue where the flow fronts meet at large obtuse angles. Finally, in SolidWorks Plastics 2017, there has been an addition to the XY plots outputs where the user can display the variation of mass during the injection process. This helps users understand the performance of the molding process during the cycle, differentiating the flow and pack cycle so you can understand their mass contributions. SolidWorks Plastics enables users to obtain quick insights into the manufacturability of their plastic parts. Besides the ease of use of CAD integrated analysis, the enhancements in 2017 improves the user experience by providing more flexibility and control to the plastics analysis setup process.